Welcome to SQL Server Tutorial Part 1.1. It is an update of Part 1. In Part 1, I have discussed about installation of SQL Server 2017 CPT version. Now, full version of SQL Server 2017 is available, and the installation method also a little bit different from CPT version. In this short tutorial update, I will show you how to obtain SQL Server 2017 developer version and installation procedure. Go to Microsoft website, more menu, click view all, scroll down under business and enterprise section, click Microsoft SQL Server. In the product menu, select SQL Server. Here you can find SQL Server products for Linux or Windows version. We are going to install in Windows version. So click SQL Server 2017. Click try it now. There are three major version, free trial and evaluation, developer edition, express edition. If your project is small, you can use express edition. If you want to develop your system, you can use developer version. Developer version actually a full version of SQL Server, but you should not use it in production environment. We are going to download developer version. It will download a small pre-installer exe, size about 5.1 megabyte. Run it. It is actually a downloader software. You can directly install it from here, or you can download the media so that you can use it over and over. Use the ISO. ISO is about 1.5 GB. So select the location whose drive has enough space to save it. Click download. It will take some time. I am pausing video. Double click on downloaded ISO file. Click setup. Click installation. In previous versions of uh, SQL Server, uh, SQL Server reporting service management tools, data tools, all are in one place. In SQL Server 2017, you have to install every package separate. We're going to install the database, core database, actually. So, so I'm going to select first one. If you have product key, then enter the product key. As we are a developer, we are going to select, uh, it is a actually pre-selected developer version. Click Next, Accept License Agreement. Click next. It is recommended to check uh, update. I'm not selecting her. You should select it. Everything is passed. Windows firewall warning. It is ignorable. Select perform new installation. If you have want to add new feature, then you should select second option. Select the feature you required for general purpose. You should always need the database engine. We are going to test various features of SQL Server, so we need to install everything. Click select all, except Polybase query, because Polybase, Polybase query is not supported with developer version. You can change the destination installation directory. In production environment, you should not use C drive as an instance root directory, because SQL Server uh, generate log file. This log file can be very big, so you should always use different directory with use free space. For this tutorial, I am going with default. Give an instance name. Select next. SQL Server agent service should be automatic. Select mixed mode so that you can use both SQL Server authentication and Windows authentication. Click Add User to add the current user. Here also you have to select current user. Click Next, Next, Add Current User, Next, Accept the Agreement. Accept agreement again. Review the installation packages. Click install to start installation. It may take 30 minutes or more. It depends on your PC configuration. 
this installation process we will install database only you need to install sql server management studio separately to do it please view my sql server tutorial part 2 please subscribe to my channel cause more exciting videos are coming every week